Hey, what's going on out there? And welcome back to another episode of Building Blocks for Mental Health, where I empower you to continue to build and to becoming the best version of yourself. Welcome back. I'm glad that you all keep tuning in. So, hey, listen up. This is Jermaine Wright, your LPC. And today we are going to be diving in into a conversation about one of our favorite media personalities who's been floating around in the media lately, Wendy Williams. So today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be talking about Wendy Williams. We're going to be talking a little bit about her journey, and we're going to be exploring the impact of substance use on development and aging, okay? So hey, listen, first things first, let's get down to business. If you haven't already done so, what I need you to do is, hey, shout me out give me your like hey shout me out give me your share um and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for all my new viewers and for all my repeat viewers yo 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 i appreciate you too so keep checking in okay so i'm sure you all have heard of you know all the chatter that's been going on about sister girl wendy and how she's been facing some challenges lately now, you know, some, some folks have been quick to point fingers and suggest that maybe it's it's karma catching up to Wendy for all the things that she said about people, all the gossip, you know, all the things that she said about other celebrities. But, you know, I don't know. I think we should just pump the brakes a little bit on the judgment train for a minute. And let's, let's take a closer look at, you know, what's really been going on with Wendy, okay? So, you know, one of the things that I, that I thought about when I started thinking about Wendy is, you know, like her, her lo- or love her, Wendy, Wendy had a job and her job was to be a media personality. So whether you love her or not, Wendy was just doing her job as a media personality. So, yeah, I mean, sure, she might have stirred the pot a little bit more than others, But isn't that what part of what makes her show so entertaining? Isn't that part of what made it so great? I mean, we we can't cherry pick who we decide to support based on who they do their how they do their job. And while and while Wendy might not be everyone's cup of tea, we've got to give her credit. I mean, you gotta give credit where credit's due for the impact that she had in the media world. I mean, for like a a long time, I wanna say at least. You know, all my childhood, you know, Wendy was the person. Wendy was the go-to person if there was anything that you wanted to know about any celebrity, any person that was going on in in, in that world. You tune into Wendy Williams' show when she got the television show or, you know, you listen to her on the radio and, you know, and Wendy was basically giving you the breakdown. Wendy was the original TMZ, right? You know, so Wendy was doing her thing, like her, like her or not. I mean, she was a trail, she was a trail, a trailblazer in the media world, and she has certainly left the impact. So, here's the real thing, though. You know, here's the real kicker. You know, Wendy struggled with substance use, and she's been open about her battles with addiction to various substances over the years. And let me, let me tell you, let's keep it a being long-term substance use can wreak havoc on your body, especially as you age. So let's talk facts for a minute. Did you know that substances like cocaine and alcohol can actually accelerate the aging process of your brain? It's true. You know, chronic use of cocaine, for example, has been linked to significant changes in gray matter, which can speed up the structural aging of the brain. And when your brain starts aging faster than it should, you're at risk for all sorts of cognitive issues like memory loss, confusion, and a decline in executive function and decision making. Now, now imagine, you know, being in Wendy's situation, imagine dealing with those kinds of challenges while trying to navigate the pressures of being a media personality in the public eye. I mean, I think it's no wonder Wendy has been facing some difficulties lately. Substance use is a disease, plain and simple, and it's not something anyone should have to go through, especially alone. So, you know, I just want to encourage you all 
instead of, you know, those, those of the, those of you that are, instead of pointing figures or passing judgment, I think we should extend a, a hand of empathy and understanding to Wendy and other people who might be struggling with addiction. I mean, we should recognize that substance use is often a way of coping with deeper issues like stress, trauma, or mental health struggles. I mean, speaking of trauma, let's touch on that for a second. Let's talk about trauma. I mean, trauma can play a significant role in the development of substance use disorders. For many people, substances become a way of numbing the pain of past traumas, or, you know, it's about escape, escaping from overwhelming emotions. And the more someone relies on substances to cope, the harder it becomes to break free from that cycle. Now, certainly, I'm not saying this to excuse or justify Wendy's behavior, but certainly she is responsible for her choices, just like anybody else. But I do think it's important to approach her situation, you know, with, with, with a greater degree of compassion and empathy rather than just than just looking at it with judgment and condemnation. Ultimately, Wendy's story serves as a powerful reminder of the importance of addressing substance use and mental health issues with sensitivity and understanding instead of shaming or ostracizing individuals who are struggling. Let's off let's offer them support and resources because that's what they're going to need in order to truly heal and recover. So, in conclusion, as we're coming to the close, I just want to say that substance use can have a profound impact on the development of and aging, particularly when it comes to the health of the brain. And Wendy Williams' struggles with addiction, it basically serves as a sobering reminder of the toll that substance use can take on both physical and mental health. So, as a community, Let's, let's commit to approaching these issues with empathy, compassion, and a willingness to support those who are struggling. After all, y'all, I mean, listen, we're all in this together and we're all we got. And it's only by lifting each other up that we can truly make a difference. So, hey, we did another one. We did it. I feel like singing the Dora song. We did it. We did it. I'm sure that used to be my show with my nieces and nephews back in the day. I was not watching Dora all by myself. Trust me, I wasn't. But hey, I just want to say, you know, thank you for tuning in once again. Don't forget to like, don't forget to share. And most certainly, don't forget to subscribe because that's how I keep you abreast on all the interesting and insightful information that I will continue to share with you on Building Blocks for Mental Health. The next episode, we are going to be talking about friendship. What does Mr. Wright have to say about friendship? So, hey, once again, take care of yourselves out there. Continue to build into becoming your best. And I will see you soon.